Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best VPNs for the iPhone 12 in 2021. Let's discuss it. Now guys, make no mistake, this little bad boy is one of the best iPhones that has come out in a while. It's rectangular. It's got cool new backgrounds. It's got a clicky buttons. It's fast as hell. It's got 5G, a better processor, wide angle camera. Finally, good PPI for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro models. It's the best iPhone in a while. It's super fast. And which VPN should you use for it? Now that you've spent so much money on this iPhone, roughly 800 plus dollars, you're probably not gonna wanna spend that much more money on the VPN ride. So we're gonna be thinking about price here as a option. Fortunately, some of the best VPN providers on my tier list are actually very affordable compared to the mainstream VPNs out there that in my opinion are overpriced and overmarketed. Additionally, you're gonna want VPNs that can take advantage of your iPhone speed to give you fast internet connections. You're not gonna to wanna to slow down your device since it's so fast, especially when you're browsing, playing games and doing whatever you do on your iPhone. Besides that, you're also gonna want a reputable VPN you can trust. Now that you got a brand new iPhone, you don't wanna be giving all your data away to some shady shell company, free VPN service, vice versa. Additionally, a cool thing that you could do on your iPhone is unblock geo restrictions. So you could watch the USA version of Netflix, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, Prime Video. If you pick the right VPN, you can unblock those things. So that's very useful. So for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be recommending two VPNs for 2021 on your iPhone 12 or 12 Pro or even if you have an Android phone, these will work there as well. So you got two options here, guys. You either got TorGuard or WeVPN. Both of these VPNs are very excellent. If you want the full detailed reviews of each one, I'll put those in the comment and description down below so you can check out the full reviews. But if you're here just for kind of a quick snicket, a quick, what is a snicket? Anyways, if you want a quick snicket, I'm gonna give them to you right now. Basically, I would go for TorGuard. Um, it's gonna be $5 a month or $30 a year with promo code TOMSPARK. In terms of that, compared to WeVPN, you're probably gonna get a little bit better speeds, a little bit more reliability in the application. Um, a longer company that's been around longer, which means it's probably a little bit more reputable as well, more trusted. It's probably the number one VPN on the channel. However, if you're looking for the cheapest option for streaming, I would go with WeVPN instead. It's only $5 a month or $30 a year if you click on my link in the description down below. It's gonna give you very flexible access to most streaming locations. Whereas with TorGuard, you're gonna have to spend a little bit more money to access the streaming bundle, roughly $11 a month or $60 a year with code Netflix. The cool thing about that compared to WeVPN is that you're using what are called streaming IPs or sort of dedicated IPs that only you are using. These are very good for routers, setting it up in the OpenVPN configs and stuff like that. But they're also very good because since you're the only one using them, you're never really gonna have to deal with any blockages or anything like that. It's a little bit more expensive and a little bit more limited because you only get to pick two locations out of six available ones. But for most people, that's generally okay. So in terms of streaming, you really have two options. You can have the more reliable, more expensive method or WeVPN's kind of shared method but still pretty reliable method for a little bit cheaper. In terms of speeds, both of these VPNs are very fast. TorGuard has a slight edge, I think, but WeVPN is certainly capable in its own right, especially since it's a new VPN provider and it'll keep improving speeds in the future. TorGuard has recently pushed out some really good updates for iOS, including WireGuard, which is really nice. They're gonna implement a new user interface very soon to kind of freshen things up a bit, although I do like the interface as it is right now. They also have a kill switch, which is important. And in the future, they're gonna be adding iOS ad blocking, which is really, really nice. If you're ever browsing or anything like that, it's gonna block ads for the VPN, which is a killer feature indeed. WeVPN also a pretty good app as well. They also support WireGuard inside the application. It's pretty similar to how it works and feels, and it's also a solid application in its own right. Anyways, guys, I would say that WeVPN and TorGuard are the best VPNs for iPhone in 2021. They're very affordable. They're very fast. They support WireGuard. They both work well with streaming with their own use cases. They're very reputable in terms of TorGuard being a long-standing, outstanding reputation, being very reliable for a number of years. WeVPN is certainly newer, but the team itself seems trustworthy as well. 
and both companies seemingly offer excellent customer support. TorGuard has been known for really quick ticket times, usually within 10 to 20 minutes. WeVPN has a little bit slower ticket response times, usually within one to two hours, but that's still pretty good compared to most other VPNs that sometimes take up to a day to respond. Anyways, guys, I think these VPNs would be perfect for your iPhone 12. I certainly have been enjoying using them on my iPhone right here. My chosen one is gonna to be TorGuard VPN, just cause it's my favorite one that I've been using for a long time. And since I don't need it for streaming, I'm not really gonna be paying anything extra. It's only $5 a month or $30 a year. WeVPN is good though too, as I mentioned already. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video and I'll see you again on the next one very soon.